Hello. I've been falling behind on my tutorials because I have gotten absorbed into making prototypes again. I'm coming out of my winter sleep. Uh, so this is the third of three prototypes, and I thought I would use it as an opportunity to show you how I build prototypes in Unity. Unity is really, really great for prototyping. Uh, it's far better than any other system I've ever used, and that's for one big reason. In Unity, you can hijack the scene view interface and use it to power your prototype. Now this obviously doesn't work if you've got a prototype like a um, like a side scroller or something where the player needs to be in control right from the beginning, but it works really great for something like a base building uh, prototype, which 90% of my prototypes are. So I'll show you what I mean. If I hit play, here in game view nothing is happening. I have no ability to click on anything, I can't move, there's no interaction there. I haven't bothered to program any yet. Over here in scene view, however, you can see that it's all executing. So the idea here is this is a game called For Science, and this is a processing center. This guy receives observations in the mail. Green is biology, red is rocketry, um, and so he's got a biology desk and a rocketry desk for processing those, so he passes them off to the correct person once he's read it. These guys, once they have done, uh, once they have processed eight uh, observations from the field, will pass it over to the writer who will turn it into a a scientific paper and publish it for science. Science points, you know. Uh, but the way I built this is that I used just the scene view interface. I didn't use, I didn't build any any way for the, now he's processing his paper here, I didn't build any way for a player to click and set down a desk because there's already a scene view interface for creating a desk. So I don't need to worry about creating desks um, until I'm ready to give the player that control later on. Uh, so this is a really powerful way to think about it. And similarly, all of these connections, I just manually connected them by um, by just dragging stuff into the into the uh, inspector here. And this allowed me to rapidly build this. In fact, I have a series of four videos where I build this. Um, I'm not probably going to upload them unless everyone wants them for some reason because they're not tutorials, they're just me plugging away at getting it working. But I built it in, I guess, about an hour and 15 minutes with two hour break in the middle because it got really noisy. So this is a pretty good, uh, for an hour and 15 minutes of work, this is a pretty solid little prototype. And it's just about ready for me to start handing over control to the player, so I'm going to start to build the base building UI next. Moreover, these uh, assets here, these are from Brocast Games, and the Brocast Games office pack is spectacular. They've also released some building packs, which I haven't tried, but this pack is so good that I'm going to buy their building packs just on principle, I think, um, because this is really, really an excellent pack. I really wish that they would put in a pack for the rest of the furniture I need, which includes things like windows, doors, beds, tables that aren't um, uh, that aren't office tables, uh, you know, cabinets, kitchens, toilets. Um, I need I need all the furniture, and I do. I did buy a whole bunch of furniture related asset packs, but surprisingly, a lot of the furniture asset packs are kind of crappy. This is definitely the best one I've seen. Um, so, rambling aside, that's how I create a prototype. I hijack the scene view interface. I use a lot of gizmos, and then once I've got the very basic interaction down, and I think it'll feel meaty. I begin to wean myself off of the scene view interface and hand controller over to the player. That's it.